Hello, folks, and welcome to the Entertainment Log. Today we highlight Dr. Dre's diss track, Dre Day. Fuck with Dre Day, and everybody's celebrating, or as a single titled Dre Day, is a song by American rapper and record producer Dr. Dre, featuring fellow American rapper Snoop Doggy Dog, released in May 1993 as the second single from Dre's debut solo album, The Chronic. Dre Day was a diss track targeting mainly Dre's former groupmate, Easy e who led their one-time rap group NWA and who, along with NWA's manager, Jerry Heller, own the NWA's record label, Ruthless Records. In Dre Day, and in its music video, which accused Easy of cheating NWA's artists, Dre and Snoop degrade and menace him. Also included are disses retorting earlier disses on songs by Miami rapper Luke Campbell and by New York rapper Tim Dog, and by one-time NWA member Ice Cube, although Dre, while still an NWA member, had helped diss Cube first. After Dre Day, a number of further diss records were exchanged. On the main popular songs chart, the Billboard Hot 100, whereas the Chronic's lead single, Nothing But A G Thang, reached number two, Dre Day peaked at number eight in June 1993. The song's bass line is a slowed interpolation from Funkadelic's song, Not Just Knee Deep. The chorus includes vocals by two more Death Row Records artists, R&B singer Jewel and rapper RBX. Also included is a sample and an interpolation from George Clinton's song, Atomic Dog. A diss track, Dre Day mainly targeted Dre's former NWA groupmate, Eazy E. Yet it also dissed New York rapper Tim Dog for his song, Fuck Compton. It also retorted Miami rapper Luke Campbell, a member of group 2 Live Crew, whose debut solo album, I Got Shit On My Mind, included the track, Bacon Like Gangstas. Some Dr. Dre lyrics allude to former NWA rapper Ice Cube, whose 1989 departure from the group was acrimonious. Incurring verbal menace at Cube by Dre with groupmate MC Ren rapping NWA's April 1991 single, Always Into Something, retorted in Cube's October 1991 track, No Vaseline. In Dre Day, Dre vows to creep to South Central, which is Ice Cube's hometown, on a street knowledge mission, while Cube's own record label was initially named Street Knowledge Productions. Dre lyrically steps in the temple, evidently alluding to Cube's affiliation with the Nation of Islam, and claims to spot him by a White Sox hat, which Cube often donned. Earlier that year, Cube had the single Check Yourself. Dre adds, you trying to check my homie, you best check yourself. Not parodied in the Dre Day music video, however, Cube instead would cameo, signaling reconciliation with Dre in the September 1993 music video of the next Last Chronic single, Let Me Ride. Dr. Dre directed the music video, which parodies Easy e as Sleazy E, played by actor A.J. Johnson, with an exaggerated Jerry Curl hairstyle, a plaid shirt, and dark sunglasses. Prefacing the song performance as a skit, wherein Sleazy E enters the office of Useless Records, where a rotund white man hires him to find some rappers. This mimic of Easy es Ruthless Records co-owner Jerry Heller was played by Interscope Records executive Steve Berman. Berman later played in three Eminem skits and one D12 skit. An interlude shows Sleazy E introducing two newly acquired protégés played by Bushwick Bill and Warren G to his manager. In other scenes, Sleazy sustains gunfire, becomes homeless, is chased by armed men, and finally, along the Pasadena freeway, holds up a cardboard sign scribbled, will rap for food. The Dre Day video also parodies Luke Campbell of Miami rap group 2 Live Crew, portraying him jumping around on a stage. In 2005, a survey by MTV2 and XXL ranked the Dre Day music video 12th among the 25 greatest West Coast videos. The Dre Day singles B-side Puffin' on Blunts and Drank and Tanqueray, featuring the Lady of Rage and the Dog Pound, contains more Dr. Dre insults at Easy e at Tim Dog, and at Luke while Corrupt disses Ruthless Records rappers Above the Law and Cocaine. On Cocaine's second album, 
He and above the law member Cold187 replied with Don't Bite the Funk. Easy E's EP titled It's On 187 Killa includes the song Extra Special Thanks, the song It's On, and the song Real Motherfucking G's, featuring new recording artists BG Knockout and Gangsta Dresta. Real Motherfucking G's would become Easy es biggest hit as a solo artist. Its music video imports from the Dre Day music video the character Sleazy E, who in Easy es music video is still roadside holding up a will rap for food sign, but is later chased through town, dragged into a van, and eventually lies motionless at his earlier roadside spot, or in the video's radio edit, falls flat when running near a Leave Compton road sign. On the short film Murder Was the Case's soundtrack, Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pound responded with What Would You Do? While its music video parodies Easy es protégés BG Knockout and Drace to themselves chased and beaten by the Dog Pound. Tim Dogg responded to Dre Day with an EP titled Bitch with a Perm, including the title track and Dog Baby, which yielded a music video including a dancing Snoop Dogg mimic with straightened hair. Luke replied on his second solo album song, Cowards in Compton, whose music video parodies both Dre's inclusion in the 1980s electro rap group World Class Wrecking Crew and casts Dre and Snoop lookalikes ridiculed in a mock of the Nothing But a G Thing music video. Luke's album, In the Nude, also included a skit, Dre's Mama Needs a Haircut, targeting the Shiznit skit on Snoop's debut solo or November 1993 album, Doggy Style. Compton rapper Tweety Bird Loke joined against Luke by issuing Fuck Miami on the 1994 album No Holds Barred. The information brought to you in this video has been provided by Wikipedia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Entertainment Log.